quick break? I met Jason. There was a situation. He had to leave. Well, that seems to happen a lot with Jason. Look. Patrick? Yeah. Uh, you can go a little faster. No, you're, you're all right. <laughs> Do you want me to take Robin down to the garage? You can bring the car around. No, no, no. Too many fumes in the garage. Well, you guys can just wait in the lobby. Are you kidding me? There's too many sick people in the lobby. <laughs> okay, doctors. <laughs> Here's the plan. First, you're going to sign these papers so that you're officially out of this hospital and out of my hair. Then, if you don't find a way to get her onto the elevator, I will push her to the lobby mm -hmm. and then onto the sidewalk, and you can figure it out from there. You know, you could be just a little more supportive. Oh, you guys, she's beautiful. <laughs> Take her home and celebrate and then get some sleep because we're going to need it. Yeah. I think we'll be okay because the little the baby manual thing said that newborns sleep like 12 hours, so we should be fine. And she, you do have the manual. Yeah, yeah I, I have it right here. And uh, my mom made up the food and all of that, so... Do you need me to push all three of you onto the elevator? No, I'm just thinking, what if, what if the elevator like stops in between floors or something? Uh, but I, I mean, I can't take the stairs, but I can go down the elevator and I can meet you in the lobby. Okay, I'm being a little ridiculous right now, aren't I? <laughs> it gets easier, I promise. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready. Hi, <laughs> Emma. Take a deep breath, you guys. Relax. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> we're gonna be better than... We're gonna be great. Yeah. I hope... Everything okay back there? Yeah, yeah, we're good. See, so, yeah, is the car seat jiggling at all? It's not. No, I. Well, I no, I don't think so. Okay, well, are you sure it's attached properly? Well, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. This thing is just a little bit more complicated than the ejector seat on a fighter jet. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should pull over and have another look at it here. That was a lame attempt at a joke. <laughs> I hope we can get her out of this thing. It would be a shame if our little girl had to grow up strapped to a car seat in the back of a, a van. I can't believe you're driving a van. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I bought it the day you stabilized. I thought it'd be a little bit of a you know, surprise. Well, I'm definitely surprised. Yep. Yeah. Safest car on the road. Um, honey? Mm hmm? Uh, I think the speed limit here is 35. Yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not speeding. I know you're not speeding, you're going 15, maybe. Okay, well, Robin, I just don't want to jostle you and the baby. Okay, well, Emma and I appreciate that very much, but we'd also like to get home today. Okay, 21, here we come. Okay, anyway, yeah. do, you, uh, do you have the key? I've been in the hospital on the verge of death. I don't think I have my key. I got mine somewhere here. Come on. Why don't we just call the super? No, no, I have it somewhere here. No, I might have it, I don't know, in I... my purse or something. Yay! Daddy found the key, Emma. Ready? <laughs> So glad you're here, and you need to get some rest. Yeah, I think I'll just feel better if I'm able to put my feet up. Okay, give me some Help me okay. take my shoes off. That would be great. You all right? Yeah, I'm still okay. sore from the C-section, which means you're going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting around here for a while. It's not a problem. We survived med school. I have a little baby handbook. How hard can it be? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Ooh. What? I think she needs to be changed. Dad? like you could sleep for a year. I've done marathon surgeries. I've driven a car for hours on end, and I've never experienced anything like this before. Mm. Maybe it'll get easier? 
Well, the book said that she should sleep for anywhere from 12 to 18 hours a day. So. Yeah, I think that might mean every other hour. You know, I've never been really big on counting my blessings. I was a little too arrogant for that. But Emma changed that. And when I almost lost you, I honestly couldn't picture my life without you, so I prayed for a miracle. And you're 